At Belmont University, we build things. That includes new programs and new state-of-the-art facilities to house those new programs. This building is a prime example. This is McWhirter Hall, which opened in the fall of 2010. It's the home of our School of Pharmacy, School of Physical Therapy, and the Department of Psychological Science. When we started the School of Pharmacy, our concept was to be sure that we were providing a graduate that met all the legal requirements and professional requirements, but also was very marketable. Students get a great foundation in academic and hands-on experiences and can specialize in one of five areas. Well, we know Nashville is a healthcare mecca, and there's so many different opportunities. I think, you know, most schools have the community pharmacies, the hospital pharmacies, but we have corporations, we have people who are doing very innovative things in the community, we have a lot of entrepreneurs in Nashville, so I think that we're here, we can take advantage of these opportunities. McWhorter Hall is named for these two men, Clayton and Fred McWhorter. Clayton is a legend in the healthcare industry, and his brother, Fred, was a practicing pharmacist for more than 50 years. That's why it's so appropriate that their painting hangs just across from the Pharmacy Care Center and Health Services Center. It has been a unique opportunity to help people on campus not have to go off of campus to receive um, health and beauty items or get a prescription filled if they weren't feeling well. Um, health services can actually um, make appointments for people to pop in and then send prescriptions electronically to us. So it's considered a business and also a training classroom for students. So we have first, second, third year pharmacy students as well as faculty and staff that staff the pharmacy. What we talk about in classrooms is really implemented down here in a working environment so you can practice what you teach. Right now, I'm on the second floor of McWhorter in one of the larger labs for our School of Pharmacy. Students learn how to make pharmaceutical products such as powders, ointments, and creams. We also teach undergraduates in this laboratory. We have 24 individual stations. So every student who works in this lab has access to their own gas outlet, vacuum outlet. They have their own space and a fume hood that you can see around the room. So they get an individualized experience, though, with the support of having their other classmates around them. Coming to Belmont, I knew that they had a new pharmacy program, and that was what interested me from the beginning. Typically, people do four years in undergraduate and get a bachelor's degree, but it's not required. So I did two years in undergrad and um, had all my prerequisites done. So I went ahead and applied, and luckily I got in. Pharmacy students get a tremendous amount of hands-on experience, including right here in our simulation lab. This is meant to replicate an actual hospital room. Students work with a high-tech mannequin in that bed that simulates a real-life patient. That mannequin can even sense a tablet or capsule being brought toward its mouth if it's the right dose at the right time. If it's inserted in the arm, same thing uh, through radio imaging. We can uh, verify that that's correct. We can change the blood pressure of the patient based on the medication they just got and then know what to do next in order to improve the care of the patient. The Health Sciences Information Center is used by faculty, students, and area hospitals. It provides state-of-the-art methods to research the most up-to-date medication information. Some of the classrooms in McWhorter are equipped with teleconferencing equipment that allows students to collaborate on projects and share their opinions with other groups in the building. The third floor of McWhorter houses faculty offices and a ton of lab space. Students in the pharmacy program can practice preparing IVs. And faculty members use this space for their groundbreaking research. McWhorter Hall is also home of our School of Physical Therapy. Belmont offers a three-year curriculum which leads to a doctorate of physical therapy. Right now, we're in the Motion Analysis Lab, which is just one of the state-of-the-art labs used by students in physical therapy and occupational therapy. The room we have here is a health and wellness room that you've seen the activities going on. And what we try to do is create a live clinic for students to participate with various activities and, and interact with patients. And you see the futuristic type games we have. One of the reasons we do that is we try to expose our students to cutting edge technology. We make this a win-win situation with all the manufacturers and that they try to send us their newest and latest products so that we can give them, so our students can be exposed to it first and foremost. And then more importantly, we give them feedback as to what's working and not working or what could make it easier so the manufacturers then can improve upon their games. Either way, we win because we're staying up with the latest and greatest technology that's coming out to improve patient care. 
The students in our program have 39 weeks of clinical, so that's a lot of time spent in the clinic. This is where they actually go out and practice hands-on with patients under the supervision of employees at the different sites. And we have uh, about 400 clinical sites across the country. We have several international sites. Nashville is definitely a hub of healthcare. There's a lot going on here, and we are very lucky to have good support of our clinicians in the local Middle Tennessee area. We have enough to make it work for three part time clinicals for students, which is unusual. Most schools do not offer part time clinicals. And these are clinicals that occur during school, so they will be going out, say, one day a week, so they can practice things around actually learning in class and then bring information from the clinic back to the classroom so it's a really good exchange. Physical therapy students also find countless ways to give back to the community and the world. Whether it's helping the people of Guatemala on a mission trip or helping country music star Dirk Bentley raise money for Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. The fourth floor of McWhorter is home to our Department of Psychological Science. That emphasis on science is all around with five laboratories that provide great spaces for teaching and for student faculty research projects. We emphasize our internship program because I think a good psych program will have these sort of community-based experiences where students can go into various agencies or hospitals and uh, get some real life experience there that will help them make decisions about career or graduate school. The best part of the psychology department is that we have the opportunities to present, to do our own research, and what my favorite part about the psychology department is that it's kind of a big family and that the faculty is this wonderful support group. They, are, they challenge us in, in helping us discover what we are meant to do in the psychological field or life beyond. Belmont has a fundamental commitment to sustainability and green living. Believe it or not, the rooftop of McWhorter is a great example. The vegetation planted here actually absorbs water and provides a degree of insulation for the floor below. State-of-the-art technology combined with personal attention from faculty members who are committed to helping students succeed. That's McWhorter Hall.